I suppose I feel quite proud. Emily Davison was an inspirational person. She dedicated most of her adult life to her beliefs. She joined the WSPU in 1906 and was described by Sylvia Pankhurst as one of the most daring and reckless of militants. She was arrested on several occasions and was force fed 49 times. She was 40 when she died. And I just stood beside her and looked up the course and saw these horses coming down like express trains. This woman went under the rail and as they came up she flung her hands up and it happened to be the king's horse. She was knocked. The horse fell. The thing was rather horrible. It's not anything that anybody would want to see a second time. I, I certainly wouldn't undergo the experience again. Can I have a voice next to you if I'm not one of you? I have periods like you, a body like you, a plethora of experiences akin to you. I'm treated like you and viewed as you. I face the same discriminations, limitations, frustrations, cultural expectations, complications arise. If you facilitate, does that demonstrate a lack of integrity? It's time for men to shut up and listen, but where do I fit? Is it feminism to step away from the discussion or join you in the spotlight? Is my experience valid, useful, relevant? I relate to all the struggles women go through, but I'm not a woman. I want to have a voice in the discussion on women's rights, but do I deserve to have one? I want access to women-only spaces. I want to be protected from the men who view me as a woman, but is it right for me to be there if I'm not one of you? Where do I fit? Oh,